It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 273. In today's episode, Tagwalk wants to be the Google of fashion. Alexandra Van Hout was a fashion assistant in Paris. She would sit in the back offices of magazines like Grazia, Glamour, or International Editions of Vogue, for countless hours researching and cataloging looks for fashion shoots. The process performed by fashion assistants around the globe was monotonous and tedious. For a multi-billion dollar industry that is all about being on the cutting edge, the whole system was totally hopeless, Van Helt told Payments. She figured there had to be a better way. As with any great startup, out of pain comes a great idea. The idea was Tagwalk, which is being dubbed the world's first fashion search engine. By using more than 2,800 keywords, users can search by brand, season, city, trend, color, fabric, or style through 120,000 pictures. Van Hout told the New York Times, even if you were the best buyer or trend searcher in town, no one can have an immediate recall on that much content. Now, if you remember that Prada used neon last season and want to see who else did for a mood board, you can do it fast and with just a few clicks of your mouse. The business model does not depend on subscriptions or advertising. It generates revenue from its highly influential 25,000 person user base, who use the site on average three times a week. There's a consulting arm for brands on digital and social media growth and a shopping component that generates revenue via affiliate links. Another feature is the monthly rate a smaller design house can pay to be shown alongside a bigger house, gaining the eyes of busy stylists and editors. Smaller labels would pay about 150 euros, 175 bucks, while established houses pay 450 euros, $520. The big feature is mining and selling data. Though the user base is small, its influence is large. So their site viewing habits make for some valuable data for those who need to understand them. For example, brands who want to know the top searches were for fall 2018, Tagwalk can provide that data. We can immediately see and tell a brand which looks are the most searched for, by whom, and which countries, as well as how a brand's collection has fared compared to other brands overall. We think it's a simple idea, but with revolutionary potential tag well yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't understand that it's a niche and be, and it's a highly influential moneyed niche so while you kind of go duh uh, isn't that what the google is for yeah. it's highly targeted which makes it a little bit more valuable than just another me too search engine all right i guess that's fine so if you if you look if you work in these fashion houses they have to do collections and then how does this happen you have these fashion assistants and all they do is put together mood boards and and like oh here's the ideas for this year and blah blah blah, blah. and it's literally what she said they they basically go through magazines and they just sit there and cut up magazines and go what do you think about this what do you think about this yeah but it's hard to do it's hard to refer back to collections because then it's like well who's got the 2017 copy of vogue magazine blah, 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 blah. So it just makes it easier. And what she's done, she she basically took something that was painful and made it a little easier. And then they figured out how to monetize it. So again, this is probably boring for no one who gives a crap. If about you're not fashion. in it, but if you're not in it, but you can filter by women's wear, men's wear, models. Uh, there's a blog. There's news. You can just look at couture. You can go by categories. You can select seasons. You can even select by designer. And they have looks like every top designer listed here. Yeah. And again, it's boring if you're not into fashion or you don't care about that. But if you think about the money that's involved in this type of fashion, this is high fashion. This is not Target. This is not Walmart. You know, this right. is this is Acne Studios. This is uh, Balenciaga. This is Chloe. This is uh, Diane von Furstenberg. It's like Givenchy. You got you're not you're not talking about cheap stuff here. So the people that are looking at this are highly, highly influential. It's all the biggies. And the data from that, the data is the secret sauce in here. If they can go and say, how many people looked at the, at the Givenchy fall 2018? Th- that's gold right there. Yeah. And then it looks like you can actually search on, anyway, but you can look at the model. You can dig like trends, news. Like it's, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think it just cuts down on the whole process of putting together a show because the designer would say, this is what I see. I see a young, I see all young willowy blondes wearing Hawaiian shirts. Well, that takes out a lot of work for, for the fashion assistant. You can just go in here. Yeah. You know, uh, and that's, that's, right. that's really simplifying it. Um, I know that there's a lot of work that goes into this. No, no, you're totally right. Pretty interesting. And again, I, I chose the story because she, she took what you would think would be a simple solution and, uh, you know, 
came up with an idea and uh, best of luck for her. She now, she's, I, I don't think she's lo- no longer a fashion assistant. She has a staff of 14 and works in Paris. <laughs> so good for her. Imagine she just stole a fashion assistant. <laughs> that would be, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So her name is Alexander Van Hout. The site is called Tagwalk, T-A-G hyphen W-A-L-K. We'll have that and full show notes on our website, ecommerceminute.co. Anything else, Bart? Nope, that is it, sir. All right, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>